this movie I'm going to be showing how to uh, use a hand knurler to slightly increase the diameter of a 1022 barrel shank in order to make it fit tighter in the receiver. I have modified this tool slightly at this point right here and here so it'll clear the barrel shoulder when you put it on to uh, to uh, swage the <coughs> swage the uh, shoulder swage the shank pardon me of the uh, barrel. So anyway I'm going to go ahead and put this on and show you how it works. You go ahead and put this on right next to the uh, barrel shoulder like that. Tighten it up ever so slightly. You don't need much pressure at all. If you can see where I've previously done it here with the lines, I'm not sure if it shows up. Let's see. Let's move this over a little bit. Anyway, these marks right here are what I've already done. I'm going to go ahead now and make a circular cut around the barrel shank with the tool all the way up to the shoulder. We'll see what happens here. This particular tool is uh, from ENCO and it's not the greatest quality uh, tool in the world but it actually does the, does the job quite well. It has straight knurls straight across as opposed to a diamond shaped neural which would probably be a little better. I'm going to go ahead and tighten this up with just a little bit more. You don't need to put very much pressure on here at all because the barrel was not, it was quite loose but it doesn't take much to tighten it up. You can probably hopefully see that there. Let's get a little closer here. Anyhow, that's up next to the barrel shoulder. They do the same thing. These knurls are only about a quarter of an inch wide. So you'd go ahead and do the same thing in the middle section like that, which I've already done before. You go ahead and run that rascal around like this. And that's probably even going a little too deep now, but I'm going to unfocus a little bit here. Now when you come to the extractor groove part, you got to start the knurl at the edge of the extractor here with the single knurl and end up here at the uh, other side with the, with the double knurl and kind of rock it back and forth. I'll show you how that's done. Loosen up. By the way, this whole thing is held in the vise right here with uh, a couple of plywood jaws which uh, make a nice soft jaw and won't harm the barrel. So you go just go ahead and go around like this. That's, that's a little tight. You can see it does a nice uh, little crinkly look about it on there. Let's go ahead and put the barrel up so you can see the extractor groove. Does that come out good enough? Let's see. Let raise this up a little bit like that. There's the extractor groove right there. So what you want to do is you want to keep one knurl on one side of this and get it started and then when you come around the knurl to the other side you want to stop it. So I started about right there rock it a little bit forward and you have to come around and look at it when your <coughs> other neural gets toward the other side of the extract groove, which you can't see in the photo or in the movie, it'll come around to here like this. And you can give it a little more pressure if you need to. Just rock it back and forth like that. Just don't go over the extractor groove. If you do go over the extractor groove a little bit, you can always take it out with a real small little needle file if you get a little too much uh, overhang on that. Okay, let's take a look. 
this is how I modified the tool. I'm not sure if you can see that here. I'm going to back this up a little bit. I ground this away right here so you can get get uh, the maximum closeness to the uh, edge of the uh, the barrel on the receiver there. I'm not sure how well this is going to show up. Get some more light on the subject here. Here we go, a little bit better. You can see that the way it comes around like that. And when you go to push it in the receiver, I think I've probably done a little too much on this one. Oops. I'm just trying to do a movie and hold this at the same time. It's kind of tricky, <laughs> to say the least. Anyway, you can push it in there like that. That definitely takes takes the play out of there. Anyhow, thanks for watching the video. And uh, if you have a hand knurling tool of your own, preferably an American-made one, a little better quality. This one from Enco is pretty cheap, but it, it worked okay. If you have a uh, metal lathe, you could also do it in a lathe. Just hold the barrel uh, in a four-jaw chuck and center it, or maybe between centers, and do a real light, <coughs> light uh, knurling. Thanks very much for watching. Why not?